Okay, so we've got Fury Peacemaker. This is from Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. It is from 2020, and it collects issues one to six of the mini series. Um, this is not Garth Ennis's first time uh, writing for Nick Fury, but we'll talk about those books separately. Uh, this sees um, Nick Fury in. Africa in 1943 in Tunisia he's got his squad they're all very junior and inexperienced and due to decisions made by Fury uh, they get killed uh, and it's also implied that Fury has killed his commanding officer his lieutenant because he sort of froze under pressure uh, things continue to go wrong for Fury and he ends up the only survivor and left wandering the desert this is after a Nazi officer refuses to shoot him and treats him with a level of respect and professionalism I suppose you call it as a soldier and leaves him in the desert because he's no threat and there's no need to just execute people now Fury one is the desert and gets picked up by a British officer who's leading a sort of inglorious bastards type troop who've just been told to go behind enemy lines and cause trouble uh, so they can actually get some fighting done and this guy's sort of addicted to war he likes the idea of fighting he likes causing trouble and being able to make his own decisions and this sort of rubs off on fury who you can see in this page here, die, um, also gets a taste for killing and a taste for war. Uh, something to sort of mention at this stage is Garth Ennis loves writing war stories, and I love reading them. He he's, does very good war stories. He's got a whole series of battlefields um, over with another publisher. And this sits as aside from the Marvel Universe. It makes no reference to any superhero elements whatsoever. And other than the fact that this chap is Nick Fury, Garth Ennis has just written a war story. Uh, so just be aware of that when you read it. It doesn't detract from anything. Uh, it's just, if you're expecting suddenly Captain America to pop up or there to be some reference to the Marvel Universe and characters within it more widely, it ain't gonna happen, okay? Um, I think they just wanted Garth Ennis to write for them and this was a way to do it. So much so that it doesn't really matter that it's Nick Fury, the character. I keep wanting to call him Frank Castle. I keep having to pause and stop myself saying it while I'm recording this. Um, because it's it's Fury, it's the Punisher, it's it's anyone it needs to be. But it doesn't really matter because it's got nothing really to do with Marvel and the, and the heroic universe, let's say. Alright, so anyway, on with the story. Um, so they bond, they... They take out a Panzer um, tank patrol, and then you cut to a year later in London. Fear is there. He's with a lady who knows officers, let's say, and he's going to use them to use her to get close to an officer, try and get some better orders. Now, just as that's happening, a bomb blows at the building, and you go, "Oh, all right." <laughs> he just gets well that that, that plan, plan bollocks then. Uh, but he does meet back up with those soldiers. They all go into a secret meeting um, where they're told they've got to take out a field marshal called Barkhorn. Now, this is the person that Fury encountered earlier in the desert that let him off, and it's called Operation Peacemaker. Now, he's shoved in with a sort of eclectic group of soldiers, including his mate, and they get sent off to complete the mission. Things don't go according to plan. The plane gets attacked. As you can see, there's some pretty graphic depictions of soldiers getting killed. Um, there's some cool moments in this, by the way, where they're having to cut the guy free, even though he's half dead, not fully dead, uh, and just chuck him out of the plane because he's holding up the parachute line. Um, they go to a castle where they think this guy is they find one of his subordinates still a senior officer but a subordinate and he says look mate you want to stop here a second 
because he's actually gone off to assassinate Hitler. And they go, yeah, right, me. And they say, they say, no, no, he's gone to assassinate Hitler. But we, we know that there are bad things going on. We've seen the death camps. We've seen them executing Jews. And this is not how war is meant to occur. War is meant to be fought honourably. Uh, it's meant to be played under certain rules. And we're not in it for just killing civilians um, and being, you know, horrific in that manner. So we've said he's gone off to kill Hitler. So they don't know whether to believe him, but it's too tempting for them not to. And you get a backstory as to how this all came to be. And you see here the death camps in the flashback and the people getting killed by the SS. Anyway, as this is all going on, the building they're in comes under siege and they try to stall them uh, but due to errors there are shots fired and a battle is undertaken now you get a siege scene let's say and it's good fun there's discussion of tactics there's you know good action shots the the art in this is impeccable I mean, it's um, Derek Robertson. He he knows what he's doing, uh, and he's obviously perfectly chosen for Garth and his story. And whether or not it turns out that this guy has killed Hitler, I won't spoil. Um, but there is a conclusion to the story, and I'm not. I don't think it is a spoiler to say the story is about how Fury loses his eye. Um, that's about the only tie-in you get to the Marvel Universe um, and the character as we know him today uh, but it is a great war story if you don't like war stories don't read it then um, the other one to recommend in this thing is Sara uh, which is about a rush, female Russian sniper from TKO which I've talked about on this channel that's again from Garth Ennis um, but this is a great war story uh, that is a quick read it's a fun read and it instantly makes you imagine that you're sort of recounting a war film uh, well this is the kind of thing that would make a good standalone film um, but it's just a fantastic read and if you see it cheap pick it up in a sale uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed Garth Ennis is an excellent writer uh, but like I say if you don't like his style if you don't like war stories then probably want to give a swerve um, thanks for watching and please feel free to give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and uh, Enjoy your day.